just the time I spent with him in these last two years before he passed, uh, walking with him from the hotel to the hospital while he was getting his chemotherapy and just walking in silence and, and just being around him. Uh, I don't know if I really formed words yet, you know, like what impact he's had on me. Uh, you know, my girlfriend, Alia, is a bit of a overachiever and she probably took every class there is, uh, you know, from guitar to screenwriting. And I always feel like an underachiever next to her. And we're, we're coming to the end of what's been an extremely challenging year. It's, it's been a hard year for so many of us. I know it's been especially hard on you and your family. Um, um, you know, what the coming year, what, what you hope the coming year will be like. Has there been time for that? Well, I think there's only been time for that. Uh, you know, it's been quite a, a big year in my life. Uh, starting with losing a parent, uh, dealing with that. Of course, with the pandemic, my mother herself tested positive. Uh, so many things happened in this year. Uh, but yeah, I think I've had good time to uh, to reflect on things, good time to reflect on my personal life, my professional life. Um, where acting is concerned, of course, I miss it. Uh, I just hope I haven't forgotten it. Um, you know, it's been quite some time since I've been in front of the camera, but it's like riding a cycle, right? Once you are on the bike, then it just takes some time, and then you're you're back at it. But it's 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 been it's been a big year for not just me, I guess, the entire world. And we all have somewhere done a lot of self introspection, some had some silence with ourselves, and really figured out who we are. So you you lost your father in April, and and he was an incredible actor. He's he's left this massive legacy. Um, he was he was extremely versatile. He was someone who had a very natural style of acting. In his sixties, he was you know they were still writing terrific roles for him, and and I, I you know and he enjoyed he really enjoyed sinking his teeth into those roles. Um, if I were to ask you, Ranveer, in what way has he inspired you, both as a young man and as an actor? Well, in every which way. Yeah. You know, I think the person I am is because of, uh, you know, the strong value system that he imbi imbibed uh, to my sister and myself. You know, he's been an extremely passionate man, a family man. Uh, I mean, th just the time I spent with him in these last two years before he passed, you know, uh, walking with him from the hotel to the hospital while he was getting his chemotherapy and just walking in silence and, and just being around him. Uh, Everything has been, it's, it's gone so fast, but uh, I don't know if I really formed words yet, you know, like what impact he's had on me uh, professionally and personally. Um, but I do know that it's, it's the largest impact a human being has had in my life so far. Let's talk about your films, Ranbir. Um, It's been about two and a half years since you had a movie come out. And I know that these things are not in an actor's hands, right? Because you have been shooting, your films were delayed. But Ranbir, when you have such long breaks from the screen, when you haven't had a movie out for so long, especially when one is in the prime of their career, does that make an actor insecure? Well, firstly, it's not in my hand and mm -hmm. uh, in my hands. Uh, uh, no, I don't think I've ever been insecure. You know, I'm just trying to be true to my art, true, true to being an actor. Uh, I know films take time. It's not that uh, that we are being lazy about it. You know, we're just working really hard to make the final product good. Um, yeah, it's, it's been a while. So there is there are a lot of things that other people around you say, you know, maybe at this time you should have been on social media. Uh, you know, you should be more out there. You should give interviews. Uh, I guess things just don't, if it doesn't naturally come from me, I, I just can't do it. Mm. Um, but I don't think I've ever been insecure uh, for the, even if I didn't have work for a long period of time, I think I'm, uh, I'm quite sure about, about my art and, and my, uh, um, uh, and what I feel about my work and how grateful I am that I don't take it for granted. Uh, so I think that's never led to an insecurity of any kind. You know, since this session was announced, Ranbir, on um, on social media, there's I, I have to tell you, I was I was insanely plagued with questions. Um, I, I feel like I have mm -hmm. to ask some of the questions that the fans asked, and one of the things they want to Absolutely. know is what what are some of the films that you've signed? Because I think there's a there, there there are there are there are names that have been that have popped up, but there's there hasn't been a lot of clarity. So, Love Ranjan's film, you're, you're you are doing, yeah. Yes, I start that film uh, on the fifth of January. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a film which we've been waiting to start since a year and a half. 
but as you know brahmastra and shamshera both those films took a while uh, and the other film i have signed is sandeep wanga's film which i will start sometime mid next year what about the sanjay pansali beju babra film uh, no it's complete uh, rumor i haven't been offered any film from him um you've said and you said earlier you said repeatedly and you said earlier as well that um, you don't want to be on social media but ranveer when you haven't had a release in 2 years when your films have been in production for so long did you ever think might have been a good might 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 have been good to be on social media so at least the fans had a way to stay connected i asked because they're asking me what they want to ask you ranveer just because they know i have face time with you today so i'm just saying um did, did that ever cross your mind i mean it, it feels like um it feels like everybody in your business is on at least instagram right yeah i think uh, the only uh, thing i think about is is the people who 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 love me and and my fans that i can't connect uh, uh i can't connect with them in in any form apart from my movies and when you have such long gaps uh it just becomes harder you know because even at you know when i was going through uh bad times at the movies you know and my films weren't working i had so much of support and love uh from my fans and i had no way to reciprocate it to them you know to connect with them so yeah i do think of that uh and you know rajiv to be honest over these last few years uh you know i am asked this question so many times about social media and eventually i had to make up answers because i had to also sound interesting uh but the honest truth is you know it's just that i am a shy person i am an introvert and social media is a platform where you really have to express who you are and and, and be original and 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 be true to yourself uh i'm trying to do that at the movies and that's a very hard job did you take any online classes you know lots of people have been doing that did you do anything i mean at all in the early part of the lockdown you know my girlfriend alia is a bit of a overachiever and she probably took every class there is uh you know from guitar to screenwriting and i always i always feel like a underachiever next to her uh but no i didn't take anything i was uh, like you know initially we were dealing with uh, the family crisis and then i you know i just got into reading reading you know trying to stay healthy mm-hmm. trying to spend time with my family um and watch a lot of content i watch so many movies i probably average that two to three films a day yeah. yeah the first time um we did an interview i think it was 13 years ago before your first movie came out even i remember you saying that i want to be married by 32 and have kids by 34 i think that was the that was the original plan and you missed that deadline was it Uh, yeah, yeah, I think, I think by, so. by six years. By six years or something. Now again, these are not things that one can really plan to the T. But are you closer to achieving that goal? Well, I think I would. I think it would have already been sealed if the pandemic had not hit uh, uh, our lives. Uh, but but I don't want to jinx it by saying anything. You know, I I, uh, I I want to kind of tick mark that goal very soon in my life. So hopefully next year will be both professionally and personally quite exciting, huh? I hope so.